This is a pinto abalone shell. You might recognize it as they are often used to make jewelry. Abalone are harvested and farmed on nearly every coastal nation around the globe. To the consumer, this shell and its meat may be the only context for what this creature looks like. In reality, this creature is quite unassuming. Its iridescent inner shell is never seen and instead generally has an algae encrusted exterior, the same algae that the abalone eats for food. It has a series of holes that form throughout its life. Only three to five holes remain open for reproductive and eating purposes, while older holes are cemented shut over time. The abalone is a type of gastropod mollusk, meaning that it is a type of snail. The pinto abalone's habitat ranges from Sitka, Alaska to Baja, California, Mexico, and is the only species of abalone that is native to the Puget Sound area. There has never been a commercial pinto abalone fishery in Washington state. However, there has been a historical popularity in sport and recreational harvesting. All harvesting of pinto abalone in Washington state is now legal and they have been listed as an endangered species as of 2013. Its largest predator is the Pacific sea otter, a species that has been hunted to the brink of extinction for its fur, something it shares in common with the abalone. These two species do have key differences, as while the sea otter has been rehabilitated because it's so gosh darn cute, pinto abalone is now considered functionally extinct in the wild. Though there are a variety of reasons for the abalone's decline, ranging from climate change making them more susceptible to withering disease, to illegal poaching, it is still too often that uglier species go unnoticed until it is too late. If what we respect is cuteness, perhaps we should reevaluate how we define respect.